you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Marshall. Yeah, I'm just listening to this uh, reggae in the background. Yeah, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to start doing. Let y'all know what's playing. Hold up. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, this is Mr. Vegas Boy Blue. Oh, yeah. Anyway, your personal brand. Now, yesterday, well, the other day, a couple days ago, I talked about expanding your brand. But the reality is, you have a brand regardless of whether you have a business or not. Understand, you have a brand as soon as your brand is you. Your brand is you. You have a brand. If, if you just if you content to work a nine to five job, that's a brand. If you're working as a teacher, that's a brand. If you're working as a garbage collector, that's a brand. If you're working as an attorney, that's a brand. You're the brand. You're the brand. Because understand something. Even when you're working for somebody, even though they're paying you, you don't, and you actually providing them with a service. And in order to keep getting paid by them, you have to provide a good service. You have to sell a product. You have to perform. And, you know, when you on jobs and stuff, you know, that's on you. That's that's your word. That's your reputation. You know, you make it money based on your rep. I mean, that brand even extends to like stuff like credit. That's your brand. Your credit score is your brand because your credit score says to people this person is reliable in paying back bills and they're responsible. You know, when they check credit scores and uh, with credit scores, they check a whole lot more than you'll see on your credit score. They, they, they There's some stuff with that. They, they, that's some deep stuff. But that's still part of your brand, how you pay your bills, because they're going to see, all right, how many payments have they missed? Are they steady? You know, when you're on jobs, you still perform. It ain't just you're like you just some uh, mere cog in a the machine. They're looking at you. Managers are looking at you. They're like, okay, how's he doing his work? You know? Even in, um, I'm going to tell you what, they, and even though this, well, you know, I usually talk about business and money on this channel. Even when you're dealing with people socially, that's your brand. Because your social thing and your financial thing are very much connected. Connected in some deep ways, but for now, there's some stuff I probably need to go on on my Deep Thought channel on. But... You know, when people, a lot of times when people make a decision about you, when they're hiring you, they look, they ain't so much looking at your resume, they're looking at you as a person. You know, I had a federal agent tell me, because I, I mean, I've, I've mentioned it a few times that, you know, back in the early 90s, I was in the application process for uh, some federal agencies, right? And I had a federal agent tell me, right? He said, look, this interview is more, not even more about what you know. They just trying to get a view. They trying to, they just talking with you about if they feel like they click with you or something. They they want to know if you, they can get along with you. If you the type of guy they need to go out on a raid or something, you know, like you you got their back. You know, and I've talked to other dudes who've gone through those processes, right? They'll say they'll be in there talking about basketball or something. They just want to click. But that's your brand. Your brand is the person that you get up and look in the mirror. You know, and when they're looking at you, they're looking at, all right, when this person's on the job, you know, do they get along with everybody else? Are they appropriate? Something like, do they dress appropriately? That's your brand. So your brand starts as soon as you get up in the morning. It's like, what do you present? Do you present a professional image to the world? Or do you uh, do something, uh, do you present a professional image to the world? Or do you pre uh, present a lazy image? Because that's your brand. I've, I've, know, I've been on jobs, you've known people, they got, you know what, they, they come to work whenever, they have trouble getting along with people, but that's their brand. And they might be on the job for a little while because it's hard to fire people, but when there's like a, uh, a way out, 
they take it. There's a lot of people been blindsided by a layoff because the business or whatever is not making as much money. They got to make some cuts. Who do you think goes first? That brand's important. That brand's important. I mean, definitely, like, just in life. And, in fact, it's important is your personal brands in business, right? Now, I mentioned, like, this, uh, I've mentioned before as an example, I knew this dude who sold, uh, who made buffalo wings. He was in the D.C. area. I don't know what he's doing now. I've actually looked him up because he was an interesting cat, right? Now, the buffalo wings actually tasted regular. There wasn't nothing special about the buffalo wings, and this is how I really found out. But because of how he was as a person and the ladies loved him, people used to be lined up to get his stuff. So when he cooked them, people ate them right away because they were always hot because of his brand, because of how he was as a person. He was very personable. He could make every single person feel like he was their best friend. But that was his brand. Now, contrasted with the guy who bought the place from him, that guy wasn't friendly at all. <laughs> he was just barely. It's like barely the food didn't taste as good and i knew one of the reasons why because when he brought out the wings people wouldn't buy wasn't buying them right away so they would sit and he they'd be like just warm and stuff there's some foods you got to eat hot so it wasn't the same but then the dude's brand wasn't as strong the personal brand you know so that's in business it's a lot of a lot of it's just a lot of business success is really just on you you know, are you that type of person who can get up contracts or are you that type of person who can be sociable enough on a job to move up? That's a big part of it. Or like, say, uh, you know, even some jobs. If you're a salesperson, you basically in business for yourself, no matter who you work for. If you're a car salesman, clothing salesman or whatever, because I've seen some master salesmen um, in business. In fact, I'm going to talk about the master salesman on, on my Deep Thought channel. I, um, let me see. What am I doing? Yeah, the video would have came out yesterday. Check out my Deep Thought channel. I, I talk about that when I talk about intelligence, right? But I knew, um, I've seen some salesmen. They could clean up, and it was really just based on their personality. It didn't have anything to do with the product they were selling. I know a couple guys like that. I know a guy who got a business because of that. He was just a very personable person. Once again, that type of person who, you know, it can make everybody feel like he was their best friend. But that was his brand. You know, the brand, you know, I know we took people talk about uh, logos and, you know, products and all of that. But really a big part of the brand is the person, the people. The What type of relationships can you form with somebody, you know? Like, I can look, I'm going to be honest. I mean, look, I'm going to hit y'all with something deep. If, I, if, I, if, I had, if I'm in a person's presence, I can tell you how far they're going to go in business. I can tell you. Now, you don't want to tell them, like, oh, you know what, you need to be doing something else. Unless, you know, you're really good friends with them and you really know them. Because my thing is to always encourage everybody, no matter what. Because, you know. I don't mind being proven wrong if I'm if I read somebody and I, I'm looking at them like, you know what, they don't really have that personal thing to really go far in business. I'm the type of person I had that read, but I don't have to be right. I don't I'm not that person like investing in being right. I want I, this trust me, there's many people who talk about they want to do this and that in business and I'm reading them like I don't think you'll make it. I'm the type of person I want to be proven wrong. I'm like, seriously, I want it. Y'all don't realize, I'd have, I'll be the first person to say, you know what, I ain't, honestly didn't think you'd do it, so I'm proud of you. I'm, I freely admit I was wrong. I want to be proven wrong, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, but when I see a person, if I'm evaluating them, if they say they have a business, first thing I'm just paying attention to how personable they are and what they're presenting. Do they present themselves uh, slovenly? You know, they don't, they ain't taking care of their hygiene or whatever. I'm looking at all of that because that's their brand. Many people, if you think about it, if you think about it, like uh, I remember when I had some work done on my car, the uh, manager at the place was very personable. The manager at the place was very personable. In fact, 
Nah, y'all not ready for that level of the game because it'll fuck somebody up. But um, I was going to talk about sex and uh, the personal brand. But, you know, because you can get you, if you think about it, most things you can get done any place. You can get a burger from almost any place. Most products, because because of franchising, it's like, you can all, it's almost everything you can get from someplace different. But usually... I choose whether restaurants or where I'm going to get things serviced just by the people working in there. Like, if, I, if y'all make me feel real comfortable and stuff, I'm like, shoot, I get my money even if I got to pay a little bit extra. But if you, even if you real, you could be real cheap, real inexpensive, but you funky, I'm like, you know, I don't want to come back here. <laughs> you know? Your personal brand means everything. Your personal brand means everything. Work on that. And this is whether you got a business just to get through life, a job. Because really, honestly, everybody, if you if you live on your own and you start making money, that's your business. Even even if you're getting paid by some, and you know, you got to punch a nine to five. Because it's still about, you. once you get in there, you still got to do the job and everything. So anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Let's go make that money.